so I think I got another one for you. One of those wacky adventures by yours truly. Yeah. Poop. Pile of poop. I got automatic fertilization going on here. Absolutely love it. So this video is something that I've been wanting to do for the last two years. I know I say that a lot, but it's the truth. So apples. Last time I did any apple pressing was about three years ago. We don't get apples every year. The apple years usually come after every other year. But uh, for the last two years we haven't had any apples at all. This year though there is an absolute swarm of apples. This tree already released all of its apples mostly. There are some other trees that still have the apples on them. And the goal for this video is to make a bunch of apple juice. Or is it called apple cedar? You know, the liquid you get from uh, pressing down the apple mulch. What is that thing called? Is it apple juice or apple cedar? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the juice is just a watered down version of cedar. But to make sure that I don't mess this up, I'm just gonna call it apple flavored water. Can't go wrong with that. So yeah guys, the goal for this video is to make as much apple flavored water than I can do. We don't get apples every year, so I want to make as much as I can. So let's start collecting apples and take it from there. Hmm. I haven't used this thing. Hell, I don't even remember. The last time I did any joyriding with this ATV was back in January, I think, or December. I did even a video about it, which can be, if you're interested, found somewhere on the screen. But I never used the thing, to be honest. Should, should probably sell it. It's just taking up useful space. Probably not even gonna start. The float needle used to get stuck. By the way, this trailer, also my do-it-yourself kind of project I did a while ago. And if you're interested how this thing came to be, then I'm gonna leave that link up here or here in the corner.
Let's not forget that thing. So I've never used this thing before. Wonder how good it is. I bet it's a lot better with two hands. Seems to be working. It's a pretty ingenious design. It uh, lets the apples go in but uh, prevents them from coming out only through this small port here It would be a lot easier if I did not have this massive grass here though. But anyway guys... Let's finish by cleaning this tree up and take it from there. This thing actually worked out pretty good. Still have a bunch of apples remaining here, but I literally have no patience to try to pick them all. I mean, getting the apples that are buried deep under some crappy weed is pretty annoying. Picking apples from a nice lawn area where there is no massive amounts of freaking weed is so much easier so a couple of guys did ask about this uh, apple collector tool and I've never used the thing until now I think it did a pretty good job I mean only other option would be if you were knee deep in the soil and trying to pick these apples by hand it's doable but if you have the right tool then why also, it's probably not that good for the back if you're bending all over the place. That's one of the reasons I actually wanted to do this uh, apple picking by myself. Usually my mother would be like, I'm gonna come help you with that task. 
she's at work right now and she doesn't own a car so she can't drive here to help me out so that was my plan to come and pick these apples because of her back she's in constant back pain and I don't really want her to do any heavy lifting or crap like this I myself also experienced a bunch of back pain before I started working uh, on this building just in the first episode I had very bad back pain and you can even see it when I'm kind of trying to bend over after removing the roof tiles but by now I'm completely free of that back pain and and that's because of one exercise three minutes of planking on each side per day has changed my life I have no back pain remaining whatsoever also I feel that my back is a lot stronger now so yeah guys if you have some back pains maybe doing some planking exercises can also help you out like it did for me but enough of that cheaper chapper pointless talk let's uh, continue the video from here so this was just one tree but I still have uh, I don't even know how many remaining so cleaning those trees up is pretty much the same deal as it were with this one. So let's just skip all that crap and uh, pick this up when I have picked all the apples. Yeah, sounds like a plan. I don't know guys, smells like apples. How am I supposed to get the camera now? Freaking genius! Okay, I'm back from the store now. Had to go buy a new camera. Can't reach that anymore. But anyway, this is the amount of apples I managed to get. I think it's enough. All of this came from just three trees guys. And it took me about well, about one hour per three, so simple math tells us about seven weeks. So next phase would be to start processing this stuff. So basically, let's do a rundown on the things that I need and how I'm going to make this happen. There are quite a few things, so let's make a list. That way I will not forget because I'm always forgetting stuff. Hmm. So first things first. Get some apples. Yo. Check. Second thing. Sort and clean them. Sorting is pretty self-explanatory. I'm guessing uh, this apple will probably not taste that good so sort the crappy ones out and then clean them so number two also che what why who are you even huh bro i think that ship has sailed what is this conscious messenger try this again Number three, brush the apples. Hmm, not check. For this, I need some tools that I don't currently have. Still working on that. Number four, make pancakes and start pressing. It's not what it sounds like. Although I would definitely go for some pancakes right now. So basically I would take that apple mulch, make pancakes out of that stuff 
by wrapping this thing around it. Anything really would work that lets water through but uh, stops the mulch from uh, coming through. Then I made this uh, bucket, bunch of holes in it. Place the first pancake on the bottom, then add a piece of plywood on top of that. Another pancake, another plywood. Repeat how many times you want. Depends on the size of your press, really. And finally, something thicker on top. So if this was full of apple pancakes, it would be here. And that's pretty much it. The joyful apple water will exit from here down into here. This is just uh, so it can get that nice metal taste. Oh, and by the way, this press here. This is my homemade press quite a few years ago. Literally made out of parts that were left over from different projects. I mean, I got the steel for free. This thing came from my band Samuel. This thing came from well, this car, but let's make sure that nobody finds out about that. This jack came from when I was working on the main house, trying to lift the walls up. Still have the second one up here. So yeah, this press cost me literally zero bucks to build. I do also have a video about that. If you're interested, I will throw that up on the corner here. So number five. Repeat number four bunch of times. I think number four will take some time. God damn it. Why did I pick so many apples? So after we finish with number four, we have a bunch of apple water. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be in about 200 liters. And we have two options with that. Either we're gonna let it sit and turn it into wine, or we're gonna boil it and turn it into I'm just gonna say it here. Juice. Turn it into juice. As I don't drink any alcohol, I absolutely hate the thing. So we're not gonna go with the wine option. Yeah. Number seven. Wonder what's that? Hmm. Pack the juice into sealed bags. Don't have the sealed bags as of yet to show you guys. I'm gonna try to get them soon. But basically, those bags will only let the juice out but it will not let any air in so once you open that container it will not spoil i believe last time when we made apple juice the last bags were about eight months old and it tasted like it was new so number eight hmm. never mind there's no number eight okay well this is pretty much a short version of what I'm about to do next. So I've been trying to get that uh, crusher thing. So today is Friday and best case scenario, I might get it on Sunday. I just might need to go old school here. Hmm. This thing, it's a bit rusty, but uh, it should do the trick. it out guys what is this supposed to be it's like a steel ball it's like a cannon ball also a smaller one here there is so much weird stuff here that i have no idea how it even got here for example explosives let's do hope i don't blow up huh 75 grams of explosives what the F, seriously, where did this come from?
pretty sure that thing is not doing that great. Need something stronger. This should probably do the trick. Something's amiss. I mean, the thing feels pretty dry, so might just be the apple that is the problem here. Guess we'll find out soon. So this thing is like a wood chipper, a uh, hacking plate or mulching plate. So this thing should work out pretty well for apples. Gonna send this pile through here first and hopefully we'll get some more apple water from it. I mean this amount from about this amount seems like a joke. <laughs> A little bit of aluminium would probably enhance the taste, right? Hey. Grab. It does make quick work of the apple mush, but uh, what about real apples? Things just got shredded like that. Yeah. 
This is definitely better than before. Yeah. This mooch is a lot better than handmade stuff. A lot more moist. Great stuff right here. Let's try more pancakes.
I think I got the hang of this thing. Going pretty smoothly now. Oh boy, what a mess. Right. So the aim is to get it, well, anything between 80 to 90 degrees will work. You don't really want to boil the thing and basically you just need to remove the foam and then it's pretty much ready to go into the bag. Never really pictured myself doing uh, food stuff on Spons the Chef. I miss my impact driver. Two is better than one. Make that three. This is not weird at all. This is so boring. Literally farting rainbows right now. Also check the color differences. This one is a lot lighter than the uncooked one. Pretty much ready that one. Another one, simple reminder for myself, should probably never pick so many apples again. I'm all out. Finally! I wonder what the electricity price will be for running the stove all day long. I mean, I'm already bankrupt, so there's really nowhere for me to go anymore. I can't go further down. I did have an alternative though. This uh, wood fire stove. But the downside with this is that it also heats up the room. Running this whole day long, non-stop, would make this room into a sauna. That's why I went with the electric crap over there. I never want to see apples again. But anyway guys, let's check it out how we did. In my defense, that was just one box. So what can we take away from this? Well, for starters, it seems I built a pretty sturdy and strong table. If you're interested, 
this day will build the video up here. But anyway, got about 190 liters of apple water. So that's almost 200 kilos. So the way these boxes work, pretty easy. Just press the button and you're good to go. I don't know guys, tastes like apples. Just following instructions. <sighs> but anyway, let's end on that note. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Other than grinding the paint off, I did pretty good.